of January 2022. Here it is. All right, January 2022. Paper pumpkin are these fun shaped cards. Try and get that out of there. How adorable are those, seriously? Grab some water here real quick. Oh. So those are the envelopes with them and then look on the inside, you guys. These envelopes are just adorable. They're so cute and I love this gold and pink combination. With this kit as well, it came with an add-on for boxes. Well, you didn't have to get the add-on um, to make anything in the kit. I did get the add-on because they are just so fun. Like, look at how cute and tiny they are. They fit one little chocolate. I'm sure you could probably fit maybe something else in there too. But I have one little um, lint chocolate in there. But how adorable are they? They're so fun. Um, if you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, I will be including the box in a little thank you. It might be broken down, but you'll still get all of the twine, a little heart, and then the box just as a little thank you. And of course, a piece of chocolate. All right, so there's that. And I'll show you how to assemble those. They're very easy. Um, you can stamp something or you can save this for names. I just left it blank for names, but there is super cute. All right. Well, those are the cards for that kit. And then in this kit, this is, we'll bring it back in. Um, gray granite is the stamping spot for this one. And here is the stamp set. It says, love you for you, friend, sending you love more. As an X and an O arrow, two different hearts, some dots, and then the Cupid's heart. So fun. And then your embellishment pack has these really fun sequins in it with your dimensionals and glue dots. And of course, as always, it has the instructions for it as well. And then the back, um, I'm gonna point out the different alternative projects. These are using the boxes. This is using um, the envelopes and then just kind of cutting it to make a cookie sleeve. That was really cute. And then this is obviously using alternative extra products from that you might have on hand um, to make those cards. But again, Pinterest or if you follow Paper Pumpkin um, on any of the social medias, they always have wonderful ideas. And then the hugs and kisses, oh yes, this is what I was gonna show as well. So those are the boxes um, and the kit that you can, the add-on, it's $10. There is some still available, I did check um, this morning if you would like to get them and get ahead for Valentine's Day next year. So our first Hard. We're just gonna, again going to do all the stamping at once. Um, and so we'll stamp on the envelope. And how the cards come, it, they automatically, like they come just like this to fit in the box. Um, you're actually going to bend them, what is it, this way and then bend this back. So this is how the card is going to go. So you'll can accordion fold open. I don't think I actually showed you that with these cards, just the fronts of them. So here's this one that we're making friend for you and then it gives you a little spot to write a little note. And then the other card says for you and then it opens XOXO love you more. And then right here is where you can write your little note. But I thought these were super fun especially the folds to them. So let us get, we will get our stamping mat out again. And we just need one heart and that. 
and the envelope. And I think these ones will just assemble as we go because they're pretty quick once we get the stamping done. And I have my block. And the first thing I am going to stamp is the friend sentiment. I did find too with this stamp set that you're going to want to um, either clean the stamp or the yeah clean the stamp off using your chamois or rub an eraser on it um, I did have some film which happens sometimes in the production process so I have it on my block and we're inking it up getting it nice and inky and then I'm just gonna stamp it into the center of the heart and then we'll hold it so that the ink can absorb and and that one so if you can see I'm gonna show you that it did kind of get a little bit splotchy it was definitely better than what it was the first time I stamped if you don't like it you can always re-ink it up and try to position it with the photopolymer st stamp sets it is very much a possibility, but that one actually, now that it's kind of drying, is not too bad, so I will leave it. I don't want to mess it up because that would be my luck to do that. Um, and then the For You is going to get stamped next, and that is going to go onto here. And I'm just going to lay it flat. Ink it up. And stamp it right there for you. How nice. Clean off our stamp. And the next thing what we're going to do is get our X's and O's out. Or not X is and O's, our X and O. And how I line it up is I'm just gonna put it on the envelope to where I want it, like such. And then I am going to put it on my block, like such. So then that way I know it has the correct spacing. And I'll flip it over and ink up both letters at the same time to stamp them. So, we have XOXO. And, ooh, that's, that one is splotchy. That one I will definitely redo. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Give me a second and I will see. I'm going to pull it off to the side so I can get my head down on it. There we go. I think that's lined up pretty good. Ah, uh, and it's still doing it. It'll be fine. Like I said, I'm not quite sure. Sometimes they have a little extra film on it, but I did clean them off several times, so and we'll just stamp another one right next to it. Hold it down, let the ink absorb, and pull it up. There. XOXO. And we'll leave that on the block just because we'll stamp our envelope for the next card right away. Um, but we'll set that off to the side because we are just going to assemble this card right away. So, cover up my ink so I don't get anything on it. The first thing we are going to do is with it folded, we will add our little sequins, and there's three of them. So I put the first one kind of under the E and the I. This one closer to the D. And this one closer to the F. And if you need to kind of move them a little bit, you can, but then. So hello, friend. There's that. And then we are going to take our dimensionals, flip this over, 
And I'm going to put four of them on here, just because it's a rather large surface. One will not cut it. Well, I mean, you could just put one if you really wanted to, but it might kind of hang to one side. And we'll just set that right in the middle of our card. There we go. We'll flip it open. And then this heart we'll put up on dimensionals as well. However, if you are making these as you write them, I would probably write it first because the dimensionals will leave a little bit of a bump. Flip it around and that'll go right there. The next thing we are going to do is add our arrow to our square. So there's two ways you can do this. You can put a little glue dot just on this piece or what I like to do because glue dots are kind of, you don't get along all the time and it's just so much easier to hold it, flip it over, grab some tape, and tape it down, and there you go. There it is. And then we'll add dimensions to this one as well. And we'll put two on the square, one on the arrowhead, and one on the arrow tail. I think that's the correct terminology for arrows. I'm not quite sure. Oh. And that will just go right here for you. And the last little bit is sprinkling some more of our sequins on the card. There we go. And our first card of the January. 2022 paper pumpkin is done. Whoop. Friend for you. There. And then the very cute envelope to go with it. Little XOXO. So fun. All right. And our second card for this kit. So the January 2022 kit makes 10 cards, five of each design. And now we're going to stamp, since I already have the X and the O on my block, I'm going to ink them up. And I'm going to stamp it this time on the back, on the little flap, envelope flap. And we'll put them right there. Lift. I'm not quite sure. It's kind of bothering me that these aren't setting pretty nice, but it gives it that time-worn look of aging. I don't know. <laughs> the vintage look. I don't think that ever goes out of style, yeah. And we'll put our second XOXO on there. There we go. We'll set that off to the side, because that part is done. We'll clean off our stamp. Again, if you're making these all at once, I would just stamp all of the same thing over and over again until you're done. Um, just because then you don't have to worry about fumbling through. But since we only make one, it's easier for me to do it that way. Alright, so the next one we're going to stamp is our pink heart and that's gonna have for you on it and that will go right in the middle we'll hold it to let the ink absorb so we got for you we'll clean our stamp and put it away And then our next one is this other part. And 
we're going to stamp the arrow onto it. So get that lined up. Ink up our arrow. Press it down and let it absorb the ink. Okay, well, I'm gonna redo that one because I want a solid arrow. Well, it's better than what it was, right? Not quite. Still don't get it, but Maybe it is that vintage look that it's supposed to have, but I don't know. And then the next thing we're going to do, it's going to say love you more. So what I am, I'm going to set up both at the same time. Love you and more. So it's right where I want them. love you more and then we're gonna just set them on our block so now we know exactly where they need to go and we'll ink them up and place them down let the ink absorb there you go love you more and we're done stamping. So I will put that off to the side and we will assemble the card. So our first, these just, um, for both of them, they go down flat or they adhere flat to the heart behind them. There we go. And then Again, I'm going to show you how to fold these cards so they come folded like that. But this actually goes that way and then that. So the X and the O, XOXO and the dots are facing each other and then the stripes are on the outside. And crease those down a little. I pushed on this side because of the crease on that. There's two creases just on the back side of the card and then I will put four dimensionals on these again and I will keep it for the vellum on the white so it's not poking through and showing when we adhere it down to the card front for you and of course this one gets some sequins as well Um, if you think it looks a little bare, you can always add some dots or the little Cupid's heart on the front too. Um, but then this one will go down as well with dimensionals. And we'll put four again to make sure it just sticks and doesn't flop around from side to side or up and down. If you just put one in the middle, that's probably what would happen. Send it, put it down, and there's my sequins. I don't know to lose my sequins. Love you, and more. There we go. And we are now done with our second card of the January 2022 Paper Pumpkin. And last but not least, before we go, I will show you how to assemble the box um, that comes in the kit. So here's how it comes. I already cut out some twine. I probably cut out more than I need, but for the wrap you need um, there. So this is how it comes. You'll pull it open 
and crease it down. Crease inwards for all the flaps. And right. put that part in. And then I am going to grab my chocolate and throw that in there. And you could probably could put more, like a few more, maybe a couple for Hershey's Kisses in there if you wanted, but with the lint chocolate. There, now we have it. And we are going to seal it up. So what I do is I fold that in half at the, just so I know I have an even amount. I'm gonna start at the top. it and then before I tie it I am going to put on my heart you can let that fall it's completely fine you don't want it in your way when you're tying a bow anyway just makes it harder to do and then you're gonna tie the bow there we go and you'll bring your little heart right back up and there we go. Just a cute little box to say hello. Happy Valentine's Day, be mine. Um, so there we go. I will bring out the cards that we made. Again, you do have, if you like these cards and would like them for your special someone, you can like, comment, or share the video and your name will go into a drawing. I will do the drawing on Wednesday and then get them in the mail and hopefully they will get to you before Valentine's Day or right on Valentine's Day, depending on where you are. So, all right, thank you guys so much for watching and I will hopefully see you next month. I will, I'm trying to do better on the, on the Facebook Lives going back to a regular, a regular time. So, all right, everybody, happy crafting.